So I'm I'm listening to music and I'm hearing every five words somebody saying they're on a mission. No matter who I was listening to that day, it's like they were saying, I'm on a mission, I'm on a mission. So I'm like, damn, I like that, on a mission. You know what I'm saying? And then I start looking at just life in general. We all on a mission. So I'm like, yeah, I like that. So I'm a um I'm a run with that on the mission brand because that represent me. So that's why that's when I stuck with it. Ready or not. Ready or not. Ready or not. I already mastered the plot. Every rapper alive. Swear they so hot. G you slick, stay in the mix to the blender stop. What up, God? Keep building like a cinder block. I'm finna rock. Keep them subliminal shots to a minimum arc. Cause these Man, I have that I great memories when I was young and he was used to be, man, selling CDs. Back on the block, young, inspira inspirational, man. But he was young with it, like maybe 10, 11, 12, young era, pushing CDs, trying to make money, pushing his CDs, his stuff. So it was young. And then uh, we used to do concerts in church together. He had his own style, his own flow. So he was young with it, man. Cause these skills that I got will peel your top Get crushed like a citrus pop Bars baby put hooks on that fishing rock Gus, G.U. Slick, he always had his own unique style You know what I mean? A lot of guys around here try to sound like somebody else Or they all try to sound like each other He always stayed with his style, you know what I mean? And he was always an entrepreneur The passion gets worse with a curse, soak up game like a sponge bath by the sexiest nurse. Another oh man, Gus, do you slick? He's like the master P alarm. When you know who's the locksmith, I'm God sent. Such a beautiful fragrance. I birth your style. Now tell the He was like one of the first persons that I seen was just like pushing their music, pushing their CDs. With the with the CD wrapped up and from CD baby and everything. I said, man, this dude is really like on his on his job. He's just really on his on his shit. He always has, from um, the time we've been together, we've been together for almost six years, and he's always been pretty consistent, and he's a great writer, so he'll sit and concentrate and be in his zone, as he calls it. I just did what I used to do when I used to sell drugs, but I did it on a business level, or um, entrepreneur level, a merch level, stuff like that, just selling product like that. Such a beautiful fragrance. Uh, my real name is Augustus Will Mitchell the uh, Third. My artist name is G.U. Slick. Originally from Detroit, Michigan, came to Lyme, Ohio about four years old or younger. You know, and that's where I'm at to this day in the bean town. They killed my vibe. I had to resurrect it. I speak ill. Now the mic's infected. They looking for hair. I'm looking for a head of lettuce, a head of cabbage. Stacks in my back. Like I say, this yeah. is this the first uh, neighborhood I start hearing rap music because I come from a church home, so we weren't even allowed to hear music. But the street we lived on, it was cars playing it right. every day. So I'm going to hear it either way, you know what I mean? Right. So I still got my dose of hip hop, you know. That, that was that real hip hop. You yeah, grew up in that hip. real hair, hair, you know. Hit used, hard. Yep. Hit hard used to come through with Hitting the hard. Bronco, beating, beating good music, you know what I'm saying? Plug, RIP. Yep. Come through smacking. Yep. Stuff you know, like that. Typical neighborhood stuff. You know? Real music, man, was then, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we definitely locked in, man. When I say day one, man, that's exactly what I mean. Uh I met G U Slick. My my father used to have a church um out south on Fourth and Main. A yellow church back in the 80s. Um, if you was out south back then, you probably remember Yellow Church, Yellow House. And uh, his his dad and my dad were close friends, you know, real close friends. And, you know, they was on the same mission, you know, to bring bring uh, God to the people, you know what I mean? And they was just uh, working with the church and all that. And um, they dad had kids and my dad had kids, and that's how we uh, all linked up. It used to be a real great neighborhood like nothing but great people used to stay around this area it was a village it was like a yeah. village raised us you know we ain't got that no more nope and all this when all this new neck new technology came out really yeah you know it was so much to do with all, all this computers and phones you know when we had to be outside 
Right. Nowadays, kids don't want to go outside. Yeah, kids, kids don't even want to be outside, man. They don't, you know. you know what I mean? That's why you don't really see them now. Like, if you were shooting back when we was young, you you probably see some kids on bikes right now. Hey, what y'all guys doing out here? You know anything? You know. Right. I don't see no kids. Then we mess up. He drive, he we mess up. I'll be at his house. Yeah. We'll be down there acting up. Yeah. He, she, somehow it'll get back to my mom. Yeah. She'll be waiting on me. I get my butt whooped when I get back home. That's how it was, yeah. man. Or they'll snatch me up and take me home. Yeah. It's probably not my favorite memory, but, um, you know, it's not a lot of people that knew my mother. Uh, my mother, Diane Dupree, mm -hmm. she passed away back in the 80s. God bless her soul. Yeah, definitely. Um, not a lot of people knew my mother, so he's one of the fortunate people who got to know my mom while she was here on Earth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, that's forever a, a, a factor with me. You know what I mean? That's important to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. To hear people speak on my mom because I don't get to hear it often. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I make posts on Facebook, you know, uh, Gus will get on there and, you know, he'll confirm things like, yeah, your mom was a wonderful lady. And things like that, man, just, you know, it's a blessing to my heart, man. And, you know, and man, this guy right here, man, this, this guy's somebody to know, man. He's somebody to learn from. You know, a lot of people in Lima, they moving real slow, man, but he ahead of the game, man. Like, you know, he got, he got his own uh, website, clothing line, you know what I'm saying? And he push it every day. He's not playing around about it. You know, he's serious. He's a serious entrepreneur, you know what I mean? And that's one thing that I, I respect in a major way about GU Slick, man. It ain't just music, it's, it's, it's deeper than rap, baby. <laughs> legendary, sit my drink like I'm legendary. Every time I think, it's legendary. Fire up that smoke if it's legendary. I met a lot of- He be doing music like outside of school. Like I only did music like when I had to do music, you know what I'm saying? But he was like just constantly doing music, constantly writing raps, taking other people beats and instrumentals and putting raps on top of them. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just always on it, just passionate about it. Man, I thought he was the best rapper I ever heard, for real, when I first heard him rap as a kid. I'm like, man, wait till somebody hear this dude. Like, this dude about to be famous. He about to put Lima on the map. And he just a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all hear him now, what he do now, but like when he was on that, like, gangster rap, that, that gutter rap, like, vicious, I mean, vicious, you know what I'm saying? No peer pressure either, I surpass my peers, listen clear. I'm like five jeans drops to hip hop. You gotta share on big stock, like big pop. Like, he, he wanted to buy a DVD or something like that, or a mixtape or something, I just gave him a whole pack, like, there you go. And I just start asking him questions, like, man, how you just get your stuff? He's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I wrap my stuff up, I send it off, I, I get it mixed and mastered. And ever since then, we just start clicking. School of hard knocks, you can never beat me. No truancy at all. I'm here to be legendary. I sip my drink like I'm legendary. Every time I think, it's legendary. Big. Fire up that smoke if it's legendary. It's always, he's always, like I said, elevating. He's always, uh motivated and thinking about different ways to get in, you know, get this money. That's what it's all about. But that moved me and it gave me the passion to really want to focus on rapping and singing because people knew me for singing, you know what I mean? So I started, he made me want to rap and he spits music from his, from the spirit. Back then it was from the spirit, you know, from the soul. And that's, that got me. Silly with the flow, the padded room is where they get me out of legend. That's on me, the city, y'all on my back. Charles Chris, um, that was like my mentor in music. Like he was the first person I actually recorded something with um, in the studio and everything. So, you know, it was him and just whoever had a studio open for me to record at. They gave me the tools. Like, like I say, uh, originally I started with a karaoke machine, so they gave me the tools to um, do it on a higher level. It was legendary. Uh, had a moment for a second, name Dow Black. But in that split second, I just bounced back. I don't talk, I let the proof make its own stack. It's apparent, they gon' hate, they gon' not flash. Mama said it, I've been rolling, picture me in black. Penitentiary chances made them count. Well, you couldn't find me over CC House? And he at CC, like he lived at CC. You, you know, you call him like, man, well, I'm in the studio, I'm at CC. Obviously, the truth is what I give. I just play the back. Silly with the flow, the padded room is where they get me out of legend. That's on me, the city, y'all on my back. CC loved the dust, you know. I knew CC from before 
Because like you said, PJ was our friend, but we was never allowed to go in that room when we was younger, but we heard the music. But once we got older and Gus introduced us to us, you know, it was, that's when the breaking point right there, Gus went from there up because he got around somebody that was older and taught him the ways and the ways of how to do what he need to do now on how he producing his music and going about it. Legendary, legendary. sit my drink like I'm legendary. Cheers. Every Cheers. time I think it's legendary. Exploring our musical talents that we had us going to a guy named Charles Chris, uh, named CC. We had a drink. Shout out to CC, man. Shout out, yeah, guy. shout out he, to CC. He, he got all that started for real, yeah. man. Shout out to CC. Shout man. out to CC, man. He, you know, that was like one, one of my best friends, stepdad, my dude PJ. Dude PJ introduced me to him. And, uh, Gus had ended up bumping into him, and me and Gus was already cool. So we ended up making a group with a couple other people called the uh, the Wild the Wild Juvenile. Your mind is a beautiful thing and to lose it, it just sucks. You know, that's a that's a low point for anybody to lose them to lose their mind in their sanity. They adore my metaphors, so I come with more. Broke cats hit the floor. When it rains, it pours. My rain is more. When you man, you know, um I couldn't reach him. He was in a different place. I couldn't even find him. You feel me? I was I was hurt because that's my brother. The score, they dusty, they clowns. That's the circus. That's not a tour. Catch these silver bullets. Yeah, I toss them a cause. Of course, cooler heads prevail. High heads get left. The course, let it flow. He, he is the type of man, type of person to where when he's feeling in, in a certain way and he's not feeling up, he don't come around people that he care about as much yeah. because he don't want to be seen by them like that and he because he, he has a pride about himself. You know what I'm saying? He has a strength about him, you know what I mean? And, and so he didn't want to come around and bring what he had going on in his life to other people because people soak up, we love him. You know, people, people that love you soak up your energy and what you got going on in your life. They soak that in. And it hurts them, you know what I mean? So Gussie kept that hurt away from us during that time. He took he took care of himself on his own and came back and popped up after he was better. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's why I never seen him through that time. People keep talking about, well, I seen Gussie doing. He never came around us. When I went, I went through some things. I went through some some personal stuff too. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come around my people. Because I'm gonna handle this on myself because I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to put my energy off on my people. I want them to be good when I so when I get better, I have good people to come back around. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna mess them up with my energy. So I stayed away. I went through through depression and all that type of stuff as well. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just a part of life. That's what we learn as that's what we learn as men and Gussie had that at a young age. Exactly, man. That's Gussie had that at a young age. Salute, you know big dog. You hear me? Keep so, pushing, man. He was always a king type of guy. Salute. You know what I mean? I was riding the pimps and I was going legit, but they was pushing birds. Addicted to flips, but the rhymes are kids. I got away with words. Take your trips, they mean this, but that money burn. Buy some land, stack your chips, and it'd be your turn. Get rich. He went through what he went through. I feel like it was just like a spiritual journey. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it was a conversation being held, you know what I'm saying? And he, he caught on to a conversation that, you know what I'm saying, some spirituality that he didn't know was real. Like I say, Gus one type, he was like, he, he really go in on stuff, you feel me? And he had to go through his little journey to find out what he needed to find out. But I don't think he ever went crazy like people say, because I ain't never met nobody that went crazy and found their mind, you feel me? Like, most people go crazy, they stay crazy, you know what I'm saying? You can't fix crazy. Laugh now and cry later, cry later. Laugh now and cry later, haters. Laugh now and cry later, cry later. One of my my lowest times that was, I can think is when I lost my my mind, and that was just you know being slipped or whatever it was. Just losing your mind is never a good situation because you don't really know where you at. Mental health is real, and uh, just going through that. You know, being in the hospital and just not knowing who you are, not knowing who people are around you, that's like a low point. And um, I wouldn't even say I brought myself out of it. I feel like my higher power, my creator brought me out of it because that's how I was clinging to it because a lot of people don't come back from that. A lot of people, um, 
they get slipped something and they, they never make it back, you know what I'm saying? They still walking around like zombies right now. So like, I had to get a credit to my creator for bringing me out of that, but your mind is a beautiful thing and to lose it, it just sucks. You know, that's a that's a low point for anybody to lose their, to lose their mind and their sadness. When I, when I was going through that, I ain't do music at all. You know what I'm saying? I um, It didn't affect my music career at, at all because it was no music. It was just, everything was just stopped. It was just a, a spiritual war. It was just me trying to figure out, you know, what I need to do to um, get back right. So music was a done deal. I knew I was back to normal when people started treating me normal. You know what I mean? Like people was being nice to me, but I could tell they was treating me differently. You know what I mean? So I knew I was back to normal when people was mentioning what I went through. Like when people were saying, man, you was really messed up. You know what I'm saying? That's when I knew I was back to normal. But, you know, before then, I thought I was normal because, you know, one thing about mental health is when you're going through something, that's what you're going through. You think everything is normal. Nobody that got mental health issues think they're not normal. They think what they see is real. So I just knew I was back as far as reality go when people was mentioning what I went through. So I knew I was back on the right track. but it was at a, a show. I think it was one of his CD release party shows and I seen it then. And like my brother said, working with an artist in a studio, you know what I mean? When you're editing and you're seeing the creation of a song, um, you know when that artist starts to notice what his uh, certain niche and style is. And then when they start patterning all their songs after that style, you know that they got it. That boy with the bars is back. Pay attention, the flow is expensive. These ain't bargain raps. You frontin' cats got a part in my back. Is what he's doing. He's selling hats. He's pushing his music. He's marketed himself. He's became a brand. So that mission that he's on, that we're all on, because I represent it too. He's on it. He with pockets fatter than Lord Buddha's tummy. Who's the dummy? Knowledge is power. You can have drip like a shower. So when Slick became mentally grown, you start to notice that's when he came out with the with the with the with the uh with the wine. He had the wine, wine. He had champagne. He had the, the champagne. He was he was going places with his CD before everybody, I mean everywhere he go, he had the book. You know what I'm saying? Like like his mind, his mind, you can see. He elevates, he's always elevated before everybody else. These tracks like shoestrings tying them up. Yeah, my music can save ya. Lend me your ear, I got something to play ya. It don't matter about no haters. It don't matter what you go through. You just gotta keep going, you gotta stay on your mission. That's what it mean to me. They can't see me, you feel me? Hats, CDs, uh, Moet, you know, everything, glasses. We got it all. I created the products that the hip hop culture was already familiar with, and I just did my own spin to it. So, you know, you got your shirts, you got your hoodies, you know, champagne, wine, headphones, hats, uh, glasses, you know, whatever you know, the hip hop community will want. I was I was doing what they was already doing, but just putting my own spin Dallas. to it. And when the brother say he on a mission, he most definitely on a mission, cause I mean, he have not stopped or lost momentum ever since I've known him. So, you know, when he on a mission, best believe, mission will be achieved. And I know you do. I ain't for everybody, just a chosen few. Small city, big dreams, let's talk about it. The elephants in the room, you can't walk around. Show up at Rally Point up on North Main in Lima, and he turned out Rally Point. He didn't care if it was 20 people or 200 people. He gave it everything he had, and he had a dope sample. And he threw Aaliyah's name in it, and I was like, okay, he, he on to something. So, you know, from that moment, I was just like, this, this cat's on it. Pocket watches, yeah, I push that clock. Mind your business, partner. I invest that, flip that. Me and my business partners. I'm like a mobster. Put in work, now I'm eating pasta. Hit you, you do have to understand, like, he bring more than just the music. He's coming as, like, an entrepreneur. He's uh, Curtis 
move like that. You see people who move in the industry who get, who have something every time we go to a venue, he might have a whole booth there. You know what I'm saying? He might have clothes there. He might have champagne there. He might have a concert going. He might have a CD moving. He, every time we see him, he's moving like this. We see him at stores. We see him like he's everywhere, like where you want to be if you are uh, trying to do uh, music from the ground up. When he turned that Walkman into a recording device, a Walkman, this was like, man, this was like 91, 92. The man turned, when, when he did that, I already knew. I say, man, I, man, I, yeah. I was a believer. When he did that, it, it yeah. was just on from there. You know how we do. We trying to make a dollar. Keep that hustle legit. We trying to make it honest. If you find yourself in a pit, you got to climb up out it. Believe in God and yourself and don't you ever doubt it. Like on the mission to me, the word itself is just push. You know what I'm saying? Like when we all wake up, sometimes we might have a bad night. And when we wake up, we looking for some type of motivation just so we can even get out the bed. And on a mission just represented that like I'm on a mission. You know what I'm saying? And when you're on a mission, that don't mean everything good going on in your life. When you're on a mission, it's like, it's kind of military based. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You on a mission, like regardless of what's going on around you, you're gonna accomplish your goals that you have. So, you know, that's 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 what it was for me. Everybody ain't gonna feel you. That's cool. You don't need them. Just follow follow what follow and do what makes you happy. I mean, you know, people gonna say whatever. They want to say about whatever you're doing, but if it really makes you happy, just follow it. That goes for anything. I'm not here to judge you about whatever makes you happy, you know, whether you want to paint, whether you want to rap, you know what I'm saying? Like one thing about hip hop, they say we're supposed to be done at a certain age, but if you feel like you still want to rap, do it. Because at the end of the day, if you're not happy, you're not living. So I would just say my message would just be like, stay on your own mission as far as whatever you like to do, you know what I mean? That's your mission. And prove the haters wrong, prove the naysayers wrong. They're saying, hey, you this age, or hey, you this color, or hey, you this, you shouldn't be doing that, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Raise your own bar, you know what I'm saying? Show them that you can do it, that's be my message. Do you split, do you push it? We love everything you do, we said that, motivated. Everybody out here inspired, we're gonna do something great. Because of men like you who stepped up and, and, and gave us a different direction than we could have been. Man, if I was to talk to him and tell him anything, it would be to keep being inspiring himself. He's inspiring people. People are watching him, believe it or not. People want him to make it. You know what I mean? There's, they talk about haters, but there are all those people that want you to make it too. So keep pushing, man. And somebody wants you to make it and rooting for you. And keep doing your things for yourself as you always been. So just be you. Continue to be that man. Yeah, just stay, yep. Keep, keep pushing. Stay true to you. Never quit. You know what I mean? Keep God first. And somebody I thought would always be in the streets change their life. The way you change your life is an inspiration, you feel me? I hope these young kids look at that and if they knew what you came from, what you really came from, and where you at now, they'll look at that and they'll, you know what I'm saying, they'll be inspired. With me, I would ask you to keep pushing. I'm glad that you was a seed, and, and people don't understand that either. See, Gus is the individual, he was a planner. You know, it might take the next generation or the next man to come in and water it. It might take one of us OGs to come in and, 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 and harvest it. And he was a planter and he continued to plant, so. Man, me personally, man, do you slick, man. You already know how we rock it, bro. Keep your foot on the gas. Keep being creative. Keep motivating me and inspire me to, to step my stuff up, man. You know what, I love you, you my brother, man. Keep being who you are, bro. And your time is coming, man. Your foot is man. at the door, kick no, it your, over. No, your time here now, yeah, bro. Right now, let's I see go. the moves you making, let's and people go. talk, it's, come, it's here now. Let's go. Like, I see, I, see your, I see your wine, I see your books, I see your, you know, I see your music, I see, I see it all, I see your t-shirts, your hats, you know what I'm saying? Like, your time now, right brother. Right now, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanna say I love you, keep pushing, 
keep motivating guys like me, you know what I'm saying? Since we, since the knee high to a cockroach, boy. You know I what mean? It is, man, 700 chair, get his man. One.